Well, the British Prime Minister Keir Starmer has said that writers across England and Northern Ireland can expect to be rapidly processed through the courts after chairing his second emergency coordination meeting with police chiefs in as many days. Starmer has said that he expects substantive sentencing of the writers within days. The riots began last Tuesday following the arrest of Axel Rudakubana in the stabbing case of three girls in Southport. The violence erupted after social media posts said the suspected attacker was a radical Islamists who had just arrived in Britain as an asylum seeker. James Nelson of uh, Bolton is reported to be the first person to be jailed for riots as well. Now at least 30 potential gatherings have been planned for Wednesday that the police are aware of but they believe the situation is manageable. More than 400 arrests have already been made so far. Starmer has praised the robust and swift burst a response of the criminal justice system, adding he expects sentencing to be swift as well. Meanwhile, Nigel Farage, leader of the opposition former UK, Reform UK party, has said on social media that he does not support street protests, violence or thuggery in any way. Farage has also proposed a plan to stop writing that involves ending mass immigration. For the very latest, we spoke to John Pepper earlier today. Yeah, it certainly is a huge challenge, isn't it? And like you say, it's a challenge that the Prime Minister is facing very early on uh, in his new role uh, and certainly something uh, that you uh, certainly would not have expected him ha to have to deal with so early on either. We know that uh, the issue of immigration has been huge in this country for many years. Uh, the previous Conservative government had it as one of their benchmark policies, the plan to end small boats, as they called it, and to stop illegal immigration. Uh, they failed to do that. And of course, the controversial Rwanda asylum scheme, where they were looking uh, to send asylum seekers to Rwanda and to uh, process some claims there. That never happened either. So it's something that has been building in the public consciousness for many months, if not years. And we have seen it spill over. But I think it's worth pointing out that as far as the police are concerned, that actually much of the legitimate protesting has gone away. And what this is being replaced with, we've heard the word from Keir Starmer, from the police, from the Home Secretary of Vet Cooper as well, is thuggery and that these are thugs who are going out onto the street and are looking to cause trouble and to basically pick a fight, whether that is with uh, the police or with counter protesters who support a more diverse and uh, multicultural Britain. And it seems that for a lot of these people, they are going out looking to cause trouble. And that is the definition and the distinction that Keir Starmer is very much saying is the case here, that although legitimate protests are welcomed, what we've seen over the last few days especially has been people going out looking to cause that trouble, looking to cause violence. And that's what we heard Keir Starmer talking about and promising that the full force of the law would be brought against them and that they will face the criminal justice system here in the UK very swiftly indeed. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.